We had a client, they got breached and the bad actors were asking for a $2 million ransomware payment. They told the bad actors they didn't have the $2 million. In turn, the bad actors then sent them a copy of their own insurance policy that showed they had coverage. One thing you've got to understand with ransomware, unlike any other sort of security incident that occurs, it puts your business on a countdown timer. Any delays in the decision-making process are going to introduce additional risk to the business and potentially additional cost. So not preparing and having a plan that you can implement when the event happens will greatly increase the risk to your organization and potentially the costs associated with doing it. In the middle of a ransomware event, it quickly shifts from how much is this going to cost to how quick is it going to take. The bad actors don't take breaks. In fact, 76% of all ransomware attacks will happen after business hours. The majority of organizations that get hit are targeted subsequent times. There's an 80% chance that you will be targeted again within a 90-day period. 90% of all ransomware attacks are hitting companies with less than a billion dollars in revenue. These bad actors are really organized crime syndicates. This is not somebody sitting there in their basement doing this as a hobby. They're very well funded. They're investing in artificial intelligence and machine learning. They're using the same tools that you as an organization are using. Any security leader, any sort of law enforcement agency will recommend that you shouldn't pay. The reality is about a third of organizations do pay but understand that you can expect to lose about 35% of your data just due to corruption. Ransomware attacks are not really a one-off situation. We're at a point now where we just have to accept they are going to happen. This is not an IT problem. This is not a security group problem. This is a business problem. It can only be solved with all parts of the business participating and taking an active role in protecting the organization. There may be some changes to the status quo on how certain operations are done. It's not a bad thing. It's about protecting the revenue, reducing the risk, and controlling the costs. The bad part is that it's happening. The good part is we can defend against this. This is not an unbeatable exercise. We just have to be committed as individuals and as organizations. We need to develop better cybersecurity habits. Organizations that do this well have a very comprehensive plan. It includes communication guidelines. They understand who's going to be talking on behalf of the organization, what information they're going to be disseminating, how that information is controlled and protected. They're increasing budgets. They're allowing their teams to invest in additional tools, technologies, and in some cases, third-party services to help them combat ransomware. A successful defense against ransomware means a partnership between technology, people, and process.